Hi everybody. I'm listening to Richie Dagger's Crimes and I'm about to do an experiment. So I thought, oh, you, maybe this is actually kind of interesting because uh, I haven't done it before and I think it can work. And so, um, very exciting stuff. Whew, I'm so nervous about it because I want it to work. So the idea is you go into your pantry and look for, um, uh, hmm, uh, what's that word, Advil? Maybe we don't have it. Ah, uh, maybe we don't have it. Well, uh, okay. So, uh, okay. So I'm gonna. This happens all the time. Uh, apparently, uh, no, oh my gosh. What is that? What is that? Uh, pain relief. Mm, uh, maybe that'll do something. Okay, so this happens to me all the time. I'm on the, the internet and I'm looking at a video and I'm thinking I can do something, but then it, it's just like, it's a dud. So maybe it'll work this time. Okay, right. So the idea is um, what, okay. So my, my goal is to have like a, a bubbling acid tray. What I mean by that is um, I have these oils that I like to um, play with. Um, yeah, I took some drugs earlier, so my um, logic isn't great. So I'm just, I mean, maybe that's just why you can just follow along. So I'm just adding some water to the tray. But my goal is that it's gonna do something in water. So very exciting stuff. Um, yeah, I, I wish I knew more chemistry. Um, yeah, but my friend, Dimitri, my sweetie, um, knows, and maybe later this week I can ask him about science. But right now, we can just appreciate how cool oil trays are. Alright, that's what we got going on right now. I'm gonna get some liquid and stuff. But maybe it works with anything that you take. You know, I need really good Alka-Seltzer. We don't have that. So, um, what I do have is some pain relief tablets I found in the cupboard. I'm thinking that it's going to be cool. I'm not sure. Be, uh, funny, actually. <laughs> I'd like be on my desktop and be like, who's got a live video right now? Oh, that's me. So, I'm ruining the magic here. Check this out. Yeah, so this water tray is deep. It's got maybe a centimeter of water in there. Hard to see with the shelf in now. Sorry, I feel like I'm just swinging you around. But yeah, that's all my tray going on. Okay, so now the experiment is um, if I put some kind of tablet in there, will it bubble or something? That's, that's pretty much it. That's the lamest part. Is that uh, gonna work? I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna be cool. I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, no, I don't actually think that. But, you know, it's got to do something, right? Like, does it just stay like a lump inside your your body? I don't know. Anyways. So. It is an old one, 
so check it out. Um, all pain relief tablet. Will it blend essentially? Like, will it dissolve and look cool in my tray? I don't know. Like, I wish I had Alka Seltzer. Um, I'm not going out to get it. It does look like a mic bubble. You can see by the texture of it. Just appreciate that it's like a tum, a tum thing. And you know how tums are. They, they're, they, they do weird stuff. All right. Good music for this. All right, here we go. Okay. Well, I, I did put in the oil part. I don't know what that means either. something going on the way that the currents are it's bubbling um, yeah Wednesday's gonna be better I'm gonna have like mastered the art of making my tray bubble um, yeah I don't know anything about chemistry apparently this didn't work <sighs> Then. Let's see what else we got that we can just throw in there while we're um, playing the game of like throwing stuff in there. Ooh, yes. So I have a very special treat for you. Oh my gosh. Just ignore all this. Okay, ignore it. Okay. So I, I also um, ordered a bunch of little balls and they came in this package that I'm really like not about to open, but I'm going to do it. But I don't want to make a huge mess, but you can kind of see that magic in there. So I'm just going to get a little bit out. Yeah, I'm very careful. Hold on. This music. I'm very careful about um, crafting with lots of tiny little pieces. This is like glitter where you're going to wish... You didn't open that bag that one time. So, here we go. That bag that one time. It's pretty, yeah, this pain reliever and water, I thought it would bubble or something because I saw a video online. Not a thing, don't worry about it. But yeah, I've been wanting to do this. Um, it's just kind of uh, a, a fun thing. Uh, it's just, they're, 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 nothing happens to them. It's just styrofoam balls. They're cool. But maybe, maybe, maybe I want to do all of them. Not all of them, like halfway. This fun, it's like cooking, but you definitely don't want to eat this. Okay, you might want to eat that pain reliever, but but I think it's attracting all the other stuff. This is cool because you can see like some fun physics are happening here. Uh, maybe I mean always physics happen. But it's interesting because yeah, this oily water mixture is just giving me hassle. Like seeing me try to like take these off, it's really impossible. They're like, you can't just like flick them off. Like they're, they're glued practically. <laughs> Oil and water, very sticky stuff. If you want to feel like you're infested by styrofoam balls, do what I just did and like cover your, oh my gosh, this is madness. This looks disgusting, it feels gross. I'm telling you, nobody wants this. Nobody wants to be, uh, even just like a couple of a little like styrofoam balls on you. Nobody wants that. Do not tango with little styrofoam balls. Just don't, I tell you. Yeah, and it's like, where do you put like an oily pill that you shouldn't take, but you're kind of like, well, what else? Maybe, maybe I will. No, no, I won't. No, I won't. My goal now is to cover my, my Ferrero Rocher tray with um, these styrofoam balls, mostly with one hand. So um, I feel like I'm at such a disadvantage because some people have really cool assistants. And I, I mean, my other hand is just, this is so bothered. Okay, I'm not neurotic. I'm just not like a show person either. Like this is just real life. The show might be later. But it's definitely not right now. This is the exploring how to get your hands clean without losing any of these balls. Like they're all very precious. Oh my gosh. That game was troublesome, I tell you. Okay, here we go. 
Now this is gonna be the latest craze. All the kids are gonna eat these and you're gonna be like, what are they even? Yeah, no, I'm still not sure anyways. So the idea is um, I got these uh, online and this is exactly what I got them for, is for my particle tray. So the, the story is really boring. It's not like I discovered an alternative purpose for these little dudes. It's just exactly what they're there for. I'm planning on playing with these more on Halloween, but thought I'd give myself a little taste. There's so many of them, they're so cute. <laughs> okay, check, oh my goodness, yeah. For people with like, many phobia like the phobia of many like you got yourself many many somethings yeah it's cute they're cute like 3d little doodles i don't want to give them any place to go i have a feeling that they're gonna form a really cool bond with each other see look at this there's like a mass together and yeah, maybe. They're like buckyballs. They're cute, but they float. See, that's the best part. Floating buckyballs. I've invented a new craze. Maybe people... Okay, so this is great. I'm, I'm learning about how they're connecting with each other. I hope you're learning something, too, about mm, how uh, they stick to... Oh my gosh, they stick. Look at this. Hard to see because of the contrasting stuff, but yeah, whoa. Freaky. I feel like I'm being attacked. Oh, geez. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Ready? Here we go. Oh. This feels really good. <laughs> it feels really good. Okay, okay, now let's see what happens. Oh, my goodness. Physics. Oh, that is intense. All right, for the folks at home. Yeah, yeah, what is that? What is going on here? Oh, my goodness. Now, my dears, is um, how sticky oil and water can be. Or, like, how styrofoam has no life. It just wants to make you miserable and is just attracted to anything. Yeah. Yeah, styrofoam sucks. It's just like a parasite. <laughs> Look how cool it is. It's so cool though. It looks really cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what this is applicable for. It's just kind of like, it's like slime. Or it's like that same feeling where it's like, what do kids even do with the slime after like 10 minutes? They, oh yeah. It's definitely a tactile sensation for the ages. For the ages, I tell ya. Every haunted house should have um, a haunted feels part where it's like a petting zoo for like freaky weird sensations. And then this is one of them. It's like a freaky weird sensation. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it feels exactly as it looks. Oh my gosh, it's like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, uh, okay, I'm gonna try like you're caught in a net but the net uh moves with you and so it's like uh you're not ex exactly trapped but you do feel like an extra appendage is on you and uh it's cool it's like i want to go to school looking like this you know i think they would stay too um if you keep them wet but would they just dry and fall off i don't know but there's a bit of oil too so it would take a while so in theory, you can let your kid go to school covered in these little guys. Like, they, yeah, they don't seem to fly off willy-nilly. So, yeah, I mean, maybe add some glue, and then I would I would rate it, like, 20 for, on a scale of 1 to 10, of uh, how cool it would be as an accessory. So, yeah, if I didn't do it on my dominant hand, I'd be like, well, this is a great idea, you know? So... For Halloween, it's still coming up. You can, um, I don't even, probably not yet. So you need two weeks at least for these styrofoam balls to come and then you figure out like, oh, why did I even buy these? But yeah, essentially, like um, they're pretty cool because you can just like put them with, with all your crafts. You can just play with them. They're just, I mean, you think one ball is cool. Well, what about like a lot of little ones? So yeah, I'm really selling them. I'm really selling them. But yeah, if you ever want to come over to my house and play with these uh, little dudes, it, it looks like a, a scene from, what's that word, um, biophilia or some, yeah, that might be the word, 
where um, Bjork has this really great visual album. So it feels like that, where it's like, I'm definitely like some kind of plant with spores or something. Anyways, now, oh my gosh, I just had this hilarious idea of dipping my face in there and I was just like, <sighs> you know, like I, I don't think I can. And that made me like extra like, oh, I think I'm going to, you know? You know that feeling where you know yourself and you're just like, uh-oh, I think I just dared myself to do it. Okay, here we go, y'all. So, okay, okay, yeah, this is pretty much the stuff I dream about where it's like a dare to the great situation and now I'm right here facing it. And I know exactly what's in here. Like it's uh, a little bit of watercolor. So um, that's probably like the, 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 the most scary part is just getting watercolor in my pores. But this looks way, way fun. I want to get in on that, but okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so I'm not going to eat it. And I'm not going to put in my notes. Okay. So we have boundaries. That's true. So my question is, like, it's a flat surface. I just got to, like, roll into it. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be on the light tray. That is true. Hold on. I'm, like, doing five different things, and my hand is pretty much broken because it's covered in balls. Oh my gosh. Things I do for you, I tell ya. Things that I pretend I do for you, but I really do for me. Things that I do while I'm thinking that the, the song is just paused, but it's just very soft. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Putting this down. I, it's funny because I'm not, I'm not gonna get this stuff off of me. I'm just gonna replace it with a, uh, with my other hand and it's just okay here we go remove this I'm, I'm by the end of the night I think I'm just gonna end up making a huge old mess so pretty much what not to do I tell ya this is nice I have nice lighting all of a sudden because I, I put this on the the light source in the room and so it's funny that I'm affecting it anyways that was, that was more for me than for you I had this thought the other day about how um, I didn't think my zine was art because I didn't make it to be aesthetically consumed. And I thought that was really cool. And so same thing with this where it's like, no, it is not art. It's just a um, like documentary. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Did that even work? Yeah. So you can wear it um, as a, a face decoration as well, but um, don't go into the tray head first without closing your eyes because that's really important. But yeah, the feeling feels really, really weird. I'm like, uh, like it, it does feel like there's something hanging on my face. So it's not like a normal prosthetic where it becomes part of you. It definitely feels like it's just like um, floating right above my skin, which is weird. But I do kind of like it. But I am also kind of nervous about my eyeball. So bear with me as I try to rearrange a little bit. Oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, essentially, like I, I got a little watercolor in my eye. It's going to be fine. It's diluted mostly. But yeah, so if, you, if you're thinking about dressing up for Halloween and you have lots of styrofoam balls around, you, you can definitely litter at your friend's houses. That's, that's the, su the summary there. But um, yeah, as far as like um, tactical play, what I mean is like sensory play. What I mean is like um, weird things that autistic people think about and do where, where they involve like touching weird stuff like in the same vein of like people that like to chew things like this I would this is definitely a toy for them it's uh playing with a bunch of little styrofoam balls and oil so um definitely cool I would recommend that for them um yeah, I think that's my dream job, uh, is uh, being a toy reviewer specifically for autistic children, where it's like autistic kids need different toys, different weird toys. So um, I'm going to be there for them and, and, and um, try it and see if I like choke on it, 
you know, this is a lot of choking hazards. Like, the, the, the level of kid that would play with this tray would probably be, like, five-year-old or something, where it's, like, you want to be a certain level of, like, uh, mature, I guess. But also just, like, don't eat it. It looks delicious. Don't eat it. Um, I'm still wrestling with this because it, 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 it looks like Cheetos. It feels like Cheetos. I'm not going to try it. Anyways, um, long story short, um, the tray did not bubble when I added a pain reliever tablet. And um, I'll work on these things for next week. Have a good night.